Hi, I'm Paula Nowak from Canine Country Academy, and today we're going to teach you to teach your dog how to go between your legs. This is a very practical trick you can teach, but it's also super cute. You can use it like a peekaboo, if you will. This can be used in public when you're out and about, and maybe it's a busy area, and you have a smaller dog or even a bigger dog that will fit, and ask them to go between so that it's safe for them so if people can pass by or bikes, etc. And maybe it'll make them feel a little bit safer as well to be tucked in between your legs and safe. If your dog is too big or you're too short like me for a large dog to be between your legs, then what you can do is teach them to go between but then to lie down or to sit so that way there's enough space for them to hang out there and feel safe. It will also lead us to other tricks like them putting their feet onto your feet and walking. So have fun with this trick and show us what you've done. What you will need for this trick is your dog and a treat. You can start with a treat like this and then break it into about four or more pieces to really make it last a long time. This is a trick that your dog may be a little worried about going between your legs because that's a very personal space. So go at their pace. Make sure to reward them a lot for just trying and give them lots of breaks and do other things so that way they feel safe doing it. So let me show you step by step how to teach your dog to go between or to create a peekaboo. All right, we're going to teach go between. <laughs> Good job. And we won't add a word until the dog is 80% reliable or more. We're going to have a treat in our right and left hand. Our right hand is going to lure the dog around my right leg and then I'll catch him with my left. You want your feet at least shoulder width apart further for larger dogs. So treat at the face with the right hand. I'm gonna lure around. Yep, treat is sitting right at his face, yep. And then I'm gonna draw him through in the middle. Good job. You can also proof known behaviors. Sit, good, down, while they're between. So they learn what they can do while between your legs. For dogs who are sensitive, yep, you can go a lot slower and just piecemeal them around. Good boy, sit. Good boy, nice. And this would be really cute for pictures as well. Okay, good job. Once your dog is 80% reliable in the desired behavior to go between your legs, you can start to add the keyword like between or peekaboo. I'll show you here with Curly since he has a little bit more skills in this department. So first I'm just gonna lure with my finger between and then catch him right as he's about to come through and say the word and also reward him for doing the behavior we want. Okay, giving him a clear release. I'm just tossing a treat away. I'm gonna point again between. Good, and you can see he's anticipating that I'm going to pay him once he gets between my feet. Good boy. Okay, do that one more time. And again, you'll have to pair hundreds of times so the dog understands the word equals the known behavior. Between, yes, good boy, nice work. And then to build duration, just pay them for staying there. Good job, want to sit? Excellent. And it's very different to do those behaviors between your legs because your cues are different, the position is different. So just work through them, down, Excellent. Good. So have fun with this. Play around with your dog to teach them between. Good job. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up because you liked it. Also, feel free to share with anybody who might be interested in teaching their dog this behavior. It's one, again, that is very practical, fun, and can be really cute for pictures. Thanks again for watching, and till next time from Canine Country Academy.